This is where we get it from. And how did it come into possession of the Vatican? That is the question. Well, the key lies with Cosimo de Medici. There are the Medicis, a very, very prominent medieval family. They were the kings and queens, and lines of popes came from their ranks. So this was the Medici family, a fascinating family. And we have to go into a little bit of, of history. Cosima also organized the methodical search for ancient manuscripts, both within Christendom and even with Sultan Mehmed II's permission in the East. And uh, they were busy with ecumenical councils about the divisions, the Church of the East and Rome. And in this process, he managed to get permission to gather all of these ancient Greek manuscripts of Gnosis, of the Hermetic Fathers, the Greek Fathers of the ancient religions. And he started a library, and he gathered all of these occult writings. He was well prepared for the singular opportunity that came his way in 1439, when he succeeded in enticing the Ecumenical Council from Ferrara to Florence, the Council of Florence and his most important success in foreign relations was to get hold of these manuscripts. Now we don't have to read the whole document but basically this is the teaching of the ancient Greeks and it had been lost to the Western world. Now if we go to another source which is of course just a general source, Wikipedia, it tells you the House of Medici and who they were just for general information you can see they were a political dynasty. They were a banking family. So they had the banks behind them. They had the policies behind them, the politics behind, politics behind them. They were a royal house. And uh, they owned the Medici Bank. And then, of course, the popes that came from their lineage were Pope Leo X and Pope Clement and Pope Pius, etc. All of these were in the Medici family. And via this move, the Medici library became part of the Vatican Library. And this ancient knowledge, this Gnosis, this knowledge, was the core of Vatican thinking and theology. And it was a man-centered religion. 